So we'll hit play and when we ah, so we, we're going to have to set something up to move our camera to our character automatically but when we hold down the right mouse button uh, we'll notice it jumps to our player but it's not quite moving the way we want. It's only capturing the click for that frame and that's pretty easy to fix. We're just going to set up a boolean value for it. So let's stop that. We'll go back into model develop and those two lines we originally commented out I'm going to put them in their own function for now and it's going to be I'll make it a public function for now it's not going to return anything and I'm just going to call it uh, camera setup which will not take any variables at least not yet and I'm just going to take both those lines put them in uncomment them I'm going to cut and paste the name of the function and right at the top here in the start function I'm just going to actually call that function. Now the reason why I put it into a function is later on we might want to be able to pass some variables in here. Uh, at least I'm thinking that way down the road I might want to pass some variables in here and use this here to do the positioning instead of doing the positioning in here. But we'll get to that in one of the other tutorials. So that should put the camera in the position when we first start the game. So we start it up. There we go. It doesn't move according to the way it's supposed to, but it at least moves to the player when it first starts. Next we'll want to address the camera moving when we hold down the button. So I'm going to create a private boolean and I'll call it cam button pressed. Uh, down to let me know when this button is pressed down. By default I'll start it at false and remember I said I was going to use the update? I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to capture the pressing of the button here. So I'll just put this up here. and if the mouse button down is button 1 which is our right mouse button I'm going to change my cam button value to equal true and I'm going to add another if block here and it will be input dot get mouse button up and I want to look for the same button And when we let the button up, I'm going to say that the cam button down is equal to false. And then over here, I'm just going to check to see if the button is down. So if cam button, and I didn't put my little underscore in front of it, but that's fine. I'll fix it later. And I am going to want to get rid of this comment now. And let's quickly go try this out. So when we hit play, the camera does move to our player, but you notice it's not actually following our player unless we hold down the right mouse button, in which case it moves to where it's supposed to, and it's rotating like we want. But if you notice, you can rotate below uh, the train, and if we had buildings and trees around our character it would actually go through those as well and we don't want that a little later on when we get into ray casting we can come back and adjust the camera so it doesn't go through the terrain but in the next tutorial I want to address the fact that the camera isn't following our player properly and that's because we have our position updating only when the button is pressed down for our cam button I'm going to want to move that out of this block and be able to position it according to where the player is or at least where the camera is supposed to be every frame. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.